And new here at 5 o'clock, an unprecedented purchase for the Oklahoma City Fire Department. Soon, 20 brand new high-tech engines will be out responding to emergency calls. In fact, one already is. Yeah, and this nice Jesse Mitchell was there. Firefighters got training on the new features today. They're already using them, Jesse. That's right. Station 2's truck just went out on a call, so we aren't able to show it to you live. But taxpayers spent money from MAPS 3 on this project, and at $500,000 apiece, they come with all the bells and whistles. Everything's gone electronic. So. Over the past year and a half, OKC firefighters have been waiting in anticipation. That's how long ago the process to purchase these engines began. Built from the ground up to the department's desires, they weren't disappointed. Everybody's smiling as they're, as they're walking around and training and seeing all the new features, and it's a wonderful thing. It really is. The trucks are equipped with more horsepower, brighter LED lights, and far more advanced technology than their predecessors, including safety features from seat belt and compartment door sensors to back up and turn signal cameras. It gives you a little pride and ownership in your equipment when it's brand new. Uh, you're going to take extra care of it. 15 of the 20 new trucks are traditional engines, but the other five are wildland urban interface engines that can spray on the move, much like a brush pumper. Those are stationed around the outlying areas of the city. Perhaps the biggest long-term benefit of this purchase, though, is standardization. We've had a lot of different types of engines out there, and they may not have all had the exact same configuration of compartments and interiors. Now, everything on each truck has its own place, saving time and lives. And you'll start to see these engines in action over the next two weeks, but the old rigs aren't going anywhere. They'll serve as backups when the new trucks go in for scheduled maintenance. Live on the scene on the story in Northeast Oklahoma City, Jesse Mitchell, News 9.